Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the XE fees, XE ads, and also about the free advertising that XE is offering at the current moment. Now, this was a requested video because many of you guys were asking about the free advertising, when would it start, what date did it start, and even I couldn't find the information and I actually ended up finding it. So I wanted to do a quick video on this particular topic. So if you want to learn more on the new changes and get some clarification, please watch all the way to the end. Now, if this is your first time visiting my YouTube channel and you want to learn how to grow an impactful online business, don't forget to subscribe today. Don't forget to show me some love by liking this video and leaving a comment below. So let's go ahead and dive in and I'll explain everything to you guys. So let's talk about the different types of fees because I think there's a confusion with this. These are the, the three standard fees that they charge. The first one is the listing fee, which is 20 cents per listing active for four months or until you sell. And that's always been the same. The second fee is the 5% transaction fee plus 3% plus 0.25 payment processing fee. So when you sell an item on Etsy, there's going to be the commission fee and the standard pay payment processing fee that Etsy charges. In addition to that, not every store, but majority of stores have to be opt-in for the 15% offsite ads fee, which is when Etsy pays to advertise your items across the web through offsite ads, and you only pay a fee when you make a sale from one of those ads. So this is the standard fees. I'm going to talk about the two types of advertising forms and then explain um, the free advertising as well. So XE ads, this is optional. This is why I didn't put this in the first slide. The XE ads um, effective as of March 27 are only going to run on the XE search results. It used to run prior before on the XE search results as well as Google Shopping. So they did some changes and with the new changes, your ads only show up on the search results. I did want to mention that based on these four main ranking factors, that's how your listings will appear in the search results. The first one is search relevancy. So make sure that you are using the right tags for your listings. The second one is your listing quality score. And that's based on your reviews, customer service, and if you have any cases open against your store. The third factor is the bids or amount budgeted for bids to display the listing. Keep in mind that when you bid for a particular listing and you're bidding for those tags, um, if somebody else bids higher than you, their listings will rank higher in the search results. If you ended up paying less than that, or less than majority of people, your listings will be buried or, or lower in the search results. And that's really important to understand how that works. Addition to that, the algorithm will kind of like take a look at your store and see the likelihood of somebody viewing or engaging with your listing or even buying. So those are the main four ranking factors that you should start understanding and learning how your listings are displayed on the search results. Now with XE ads, you're able to promote all of your listings if you want, or you're able to pick and choose which listings you want to promote. So keep in mind, this is optional, and that's why I didn't put it in the main slide. Now the second option when running ads is consider the offsite ads. Now the offsite ads is, the new, is one of the new changes that they had taken in place. Um, that they were talking about the offsite ads basically how it works is that it it shows your ads it, outside of XE. so it will run the, the ads to google facebook instagram pinterest and bing those are the five um networks that they're they're telling us that the ads will show up now keep in mind that with the the offsite XE ads XE pays all all of the upfront costs of advertising on these providers that I just mentioned, Google, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Bing. And, <clears throat> excuse me, and if somebody clicks, a buyer clicks on it and then orders from your shop within the 30 days of that click, 
you will be charged an advertising fee on those orders. That's how it normally works. So just keep that in mind. Now, the only thing with the outside ads is that some stores cannot opt out. And that's why I put it in the beginning of the slide. Um, if you are a store that made $10,000 consecutive since February of 2019, unfortunately, you will be required to participate in offsite ads for the lifetime of your shop. And this is another thing. Even if your shop falls below the threshold at a later period, you will still be opted in to participate in the offsite ads. However, sellers who have not exceeded the 10,000 threshold in any consecutive 365 days after February 20 of 2019 are not required to opt in. So you're able to go in there and opt out if you do not want to participate in this form of advertising. So guys, keep that in mind. This is going to be a new change, something that they started since February 27. That was the effective date. And unfortunately, if you made more than 10,000 with within the, the 365 days from February 19 of 2019, you will be required to participate on offsite ads. So just keep that in mind. Now, with the new advertising that XE is talking about when they send out, I don't know if you guys receive like an email or a notification in your dashboard, um, what they're offering from now until, well, they offer this, uh, I think um, since last month, I want to say, but until May 1st, you will not be charged a fee for any orders that results from off-site ads. A lot of people were asking me if I run XE ads, I've been getting charged. Yes, you will get charged if you do an XE ad. The only ones that they're doing for free as are off-site ads. So you will have to participate on off-site ads. And this is until May 1st only. If you make, they said, if you make a sale after, let's say May 1st, if you make a sale after that from a click that happened before May 1st, you will not be charged. However, if you continue running the ads after May 1st, anything that contributes to a sale, like somebody click and buy, they will start charging you again. So just keep that in mind. This is an option for you to, to start advertising the next month without having to pay a fee. I recommend doing it because you're not losing anything out of it. Just make sure that you put a note in your calendar, May 1st, um, that you go in there and turn it off. If you don't plan to continue using it, because after May 1st, everything else is going to start charging you. So take advantage of it. Guys, make sure that you um, go in the comment section below. Check out the links. I will leave them all there. It has all the information there as well. Um, if you have any questions, any concerns, please leave them in the comment section. I would love to hear your thoughts about this. And thank you so much for watching.